Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Crystal. Today, we will be reading The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. The author of our story is Mike Thaler, and the illustrator is Jared Lee. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this story. Today, our class is going to the library, and we've been hearing some really scary things about that place. The library is somewhere behind the boiler room. It's called Media Center of the Earth. Mrs. Beamster is the librarian. The kids call her the Laminator. They say she laminates you if you talk in the library. She also has a library assistant named Igor. You know you're getting closer to the library by the signs on the wall. First one, no talking beyond this point. Second, no whispering beyond this point. And finally, no breathing beyond this point. They say you're allowed to stay in the library as long as you can hold your breath. Some kids last as long as one minute. And that doesn't include the time in the decontamination room. There, you put on hairnets and rubber gloves. Next, you have to go through the gum detector. The machine makes a loud buzzing sound, and the little creatures that work in the library have a net and ask you to empty your pockets. Once you're finally in the library, you can't actually check out books. In fact, you can't even take them off the shelves. To keep the books in alphabetical order, Mrs. Beamster bolts them together. Also, they say the shelves are electrified. If you touch it, you get zapped. If you're able to twist your neck and squint, you can read the spines of the books on the shelves. Everyone says the best part of a library visit is story time. All the kids stand at attention while Mrs. Beamster reads one of the cards from the card catalog. Piercy Woodrow Bender Basket Weaving 96 pages illustrated. Or if you catch her in a good mood, she'll recite the Dewey Decimal System by heart. Botany 580, Budgets 332, Business 338. They say Mrs. Beamster has a crush on Mr. Dewey and that she carries his picture in a lead locket around her neck. She also has rubber stamps on the soles of her shoes. And wherever she steps, it says overdue. She seems to have ears on the back of her head. If she catches you whispering, you're laminated. They say she puts glue on all the chairs so you won't wiggle. Then she shows you slides of all her vacations since 1902. She goes to the same place every year, the Library of Congress. Mrs. Beamster also subscribes to three magazines. The first one is the Mortician's Monthly. The second one is the Complete Pamphlet of Zip Codes. And finally, Spots Illustrated, the magazine for cleaner laundry. These you do get to read. But stay away from her plants. They are Venus flytraps. And don't pet the animals in her petting zoo, which contains a piranha and a porcupine. And definitely don't go near her computer either. It uses a real mouse. Well, it's time to go. As we get near the library, there are lots of signs. They say books are fun, books are joy. Read, we spray for bookworms, and books can take you everywhere. We march right in and sit down in little chairs. These must be the ones without glue. Mrs. Beamster comes over with an armful of books and puts them on our table. Then she smiles and hands me one book. It's a book of knock-knock jokes. Wow, I said. I love knock-knock jokes. I saved this one just for you, Mrs. Beamster says. 
I'm going to love the library. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading of The Librarian from the Black Lagoon. If you would like to add this book to your collection, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any uploads that I add. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon in a couple of days with a new read aloud. Bye-bye!